Hi everybody, it's Leah from the library and Miss Cat, and uh, we're just doing some fun stuff we'd like to share with you. A little bit of kitchen science, way to stay warm in the library, but take advantage of the cold weather outside. So we're going to make some bubbles and see how they freeze. And there's Miss Cat, and there's all our supplies. So we need dish soap and sugar and some water and some measuring cups. Now your measuring doesn't have to be precise, so but you might need some help from mom and dad. Um, we had to make our own rings, which we're going to show you what we're going to do, but we'll do we'll, we'll do the cutting off camera. But we didn't have any um, bubble rings, so we're going to cut these with our X-Acto knife. And if you have to do that, that's where you need some help from home. That's a safety issue. You need help with a big person. But we were also thinking maybe jar rings would work or... Um, a zip tie yeah. pulled or a pipe cleaner twisted into a... A loop. Right, so we'll be right back. Okay, it's time to mix our bubble mixture and we will, I'll, we'll put in the, the recipe in our online post, but also this is something if you Google search frozen bubbles, um, there's recipes that will pop up for you if you, if you lose this, this post. So I'm going to dissolve our sugar and you don't have to be totally exact. I'm using this one scoop, probably about a tablespoon. And I'm gonna add the water first before the dish soap so that this gets all dissolved. And what you want is four parts water to one part dish soap. So whatever your scoop is, I'm using the smallest in our measuring cups, four of these of water, and then I'll do one dish soap after. So Miss Cat, the sugar and the dish soap creates the viscosity for the bubble to stay formed. That's that science word, viscosity, I think. Yeah, and then the sugar um, helps too with, so there's just a thin layer of water that's freezing. So the sugar, um, helps the bubble keep its shape while that ex the while the layer of water is freezing. Kind of like I would imagine it's like how ladybugs and frogs um, make their blood into antifreeze and sort of freeze through the winter. But don't freeze because they've pushed all the water out. <laughs> so cool. Fun bubbles in science. Okay, so our sugar is dissolved. Now, let's do an inside test. Sugar at home, so. Ooh, there's a nice one. Okay, so Miss Cat was just saying she did test drive this little experiment at home, which is super cool. And if your bubbles aren't holding their shape, just play with the ingredients a bit. Add a little more sugar, a little more dish soap um, until you get the right mixture. Um, and you'll know you have the right mixture by the way the bubble is coming off of the ring. Something else fun, if you're having trouble um, having bubbles form to float, then take a straw and um, put some of your bubble solution in a little cup and just blow in the straw and make, you know, your, your oh, cup bubbles that yeah. way and they'll still freeze. Oh, that's a good idea, especially if you have littles in the... Um, going outside and mittens and all. Um, they could hold their cup with their straw with their mittens rather than doing what Miss Cat's doing here. Because a safety issue is when you go outside to check, uh, try out your frozen bubbles, you don't want to touch anything with, that's um, metal with your wet hands after. Okay. 
Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Slow and steady. All right, Miss Cat, should we turn off the camera and head outside and see how... We're outside now, everybody. And um, it's a little windy and chilly, so <laughs> hopefully it'll work perfectly. Miss Cat has the solution in a cup, and we're trying the straw idea. So you'll see slowly there's ice that will form on top of these bubbles and then look as they pop, you get all of these little bits of bubble ice. So you can watch the frost and the ice form on the bubbles this way. When you're using the wand and blowing them, sometimes they get too far away and it's hard to see the ice form. Oh, you can kind of see how it's forming before. Oh, there was one. Oh, cool. And then it's like a snowflake. Well, big people so, and little people, that is super cool. Can you see those? Yeah, I see. Oh, that was a good one. All right, so you have to practice with science. Um, if the weather doesn't cooperate fully, try it on another day. It's a little bit breezy today for our bubbles to um, hold for a long time, but that doesn't mean you can't try it at home on a different day. Hey friends, uh, I found a different bubble recipe I wanted to try, and it's not quite as windy right here right now as it was at the library. So we're gonna give this a try and see if maybe these bubbles hold their shape a little bit longer so we can see some of the frost, the ice that develops on them. Oh, I could see the ice developing on that as it was blowing and around and falling. These bubbles are definitely lasting longer than the other recipe in the air. Maybe it's because it's a little less windy, but or maybe it's because the solution makes stronger bubbles. I will post both recipes uh, with this video.